welcome to the NCC. We're in the indoor centre today and I'd love to have a chat about a bit of pace bowling. Well, the first thing I probably do when, um, when I'm throwing the ball to bowl uh, from our captain is step my run up out. What I like to do is um, put my, the back of my heel um, on the front of the, the line here at the front and then I just walk uh, 18 steps. 18, um, and then I'll just scuff a mark in the ground and then the key tips to remember um, when running up is that it's really important to um, still run in. Like obviously at the end of the run up you want to bowl the ball but before that you still just want to run nice and relaxed, quite normally, good arms, don't, don't worry too much about the ball in your hand until you get much closer to the wicket. Um, and then rhythm is really important too. So finding a speed, I suppose, or a pace um, that suits you, that means that you can get to the crease with enough momentum to bowl, but also when you get there, um, you don't feel too off balance or it's, you're running too fast to slow yourself down to bowl or um, yeah, just be strong and balanced at the crease. My last stride before basically going to your bowling action is probably the key one. So that's off my left foot because uh, I'm a right hand bowler. So I'll take off on my left foot and then as I take off, this is where basically all things happen to get into your action. So for me, I um, focus on a couple of things. Um, most of it's got to do with my left shoulder or my front shoulder. So I like to get myself into a really nice position in the air. For me, nice and side on. And then I want my bowling arm to basically sit in just under my chin here. Um, and then as I come down, my front arm extends. And then as I go to bowl, I like to pull my front arm as hard as I can into my side and still trying to focus on all my weight and energy going towards the target and then bringing my back arm over, letting it go and following through. different grips to use uh, or that I use when I'm bowling but the main one that I use for my stock delivery or the, the ball that I bowl the most is a, a little bit of an outswing grip so um, the seam running down straight like this or parallel and then I just pop my fingers over the top of it um, slightly askew to where the seam is. Um, now this ball's a little bit old but because I bowl outswing it's really important to keep the shiny side of the ball on the outside so uh, this side's probably a little bit shinier than this one so I make sure that this is on the right hand side and then my uh, index finger and middle finger go across the seam slightly to the side of it on the right hand side towards the shiny side um, and then my thumb just tucks in underneath the ball with my um, ring finger as well. Once I've got my grip sorted, uh, my wrist position, so uh, it's really important, especially if you want to swing the ball, to keep your wrist nice and strong. Um, and for me as an outswing action, I probably slightly have my pinky um, sort of rotated forward and in front of the rest of my hand. Um, and that gives that kind of angle of my wrist so that when I let the ball go, it sort of starts going down that plane and swinging out. Uh, if I was going to bowl something different from an outswing, so let's say an inswinger, um, basically that's kind of the opposite of an outswing grip. So the shiny side is on the right hand side for an outswing, but I'll swap that for an inswinger and put it on the inside. And then instead of my fingers going across this way, I change it so they go across that way. Um, and then my wrist position is also the opposite as well. So it's slanted in with my thumb pointing further forward um, and then letting the ball go on that plane rather than across me. Well, as a fast bowler, we often talk about um, our lines and lengths, and that's basically the key to bowling well. And for me, my key is probably top of off stump or just a little bit higher. So that means that the line that I'm bowling is quite straight, um, sort of towards the stumps or just missing off stump. Um, and then hopefully, you know, sort of drawing the batter away from their body and making them, they, them push their hands out away from their body rather than it being in quite close and them in control of the shot. Um, Lengthwise, you know, that probably means that I want to land the ball about six or seven metres away from the stumps and where the batter is so that it gives the ball enough time to land and then bounce again, um, you know, to an uncomfortable length that means that they can't play a really aggressive shot. Osborne completes the third wicket.
much taken by Elise Perry. So probably the key differences to bowling to a left or right uh, handed batter is, is line. Um, you know, your lengths probably stay pretty much the same in that top of off, just over top of off stump. But the line's really important because you know basically everything's flipped um, when you're bowling to a left-hander as opposed to bowling to a right-hander. Um, for me also, because I bowl um, with a bit of swing, it also means that instead of bowling out swing like I would to a right-hander, it naturally changes to bowling in swing to the left-hander. So I tend to start the ball a little bit further outside of stump uh, when it's swinging so that it, it doesn't get too straight on the batter and it's easy for them to play around the corner rather they've still got to play you know, with their hands out in front of them. Um, the other thing too for me when I'm bowling to a left-hander that's a bit different is that I like to get my shoulder, my front shoulder, and we talked about that in, in my delivery stride, I like to get that around a little bit further because that helps me set up to, um, to adjust my line to the left-hander. So, you know, to a right-hander I've probably got my shoulder alignment here and I'm looking to bowl the ball out off stump and it's coming straight down. Whereas to the left-hander, I just fractionally, and it's not much, but I'd set up a little bit more so that my shoulder's sort of pointing towards or just outside leg stump. And then I'm gonna bring it down along that same line and up over the top and hopefully um, yeah, hitting the, the off stump for left-hander. Field placings are really important, um, especially, and you know, they're basically dictated about uh, around where you wanna bowl the ball and also who's batting and you know where they tend to hit the ball in their favorite shots. Um, yeah, for me, it, yeah, a standard field would probably be a 6-3 field, particularly if I'm bowling with a new ball and then adapt from there. I'd place um, the three fielders on the leg side. I normally have a fine leg, a um, square leg, just backward square leg that's uh, in the circle and also a mid wicket um, that's quite straight. And then on the off side I'll have a, a mid off, a cover, a point and then two slips uh, and a gully. Well, a couple of key drills that I use um, and still use now is it, most of them are focused around technique. So um, whilst obviously in a real match you, you bowl off a full run up and you, you want to get use all that momentum that you've gained off running in, sometimes it's a really good thing to be able to refine that just off a few steps where it's a bit more controlled and you, you're not having to you know, control your body as much because you haven't got as much momentum. So um, there's three key things that I sort of focus on when I'm um, doing some drills and that's Certainly my uh, front shoulder again that I've talked about in terms of making sure that that's all aligned with the target and then being nice and high and pulling straight into my side. Um, the other things I focus on is just you know, keeping my wrist nice and strong in the grip um, and then hitting good lengths as well whilst I'm doing that. So for me that might look like about two steps away from the crease and I'll just set up like I'm about to bowl and then take a step, get into my action and let it go. Okay, well that's it guys. I hope I helped out a little bit and all the best in uh, the rest of your cricket coming up. I hope you enjoy it.